Now, at first glance, you may think that this part is like a mesh part, right? Like, you know, maybe I made something in Blender or like I found a, like a 3D model online. However, all of this was actually done in Roblox Studio. And if I were to click on this part, you can see that it's a union or I should say it's a union operation. So it's a union operation type named union. And as you can see in its properties, it has very similar properties to like a part, right? So it has the color, cast shadow, material, reflectance transparency, um, parent size, C frame, all of that, right? So the way I actually made this is if I, if I click on the union right now and I go to model, the model tab, and I click on separate, this is what's actually going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know, take all these parts. And I'm going to delete it. So I'll, I'll assume that you're in a completely blank base plate. So yeah, let's just begin creating. So inside of the model tab, I'm going to create two parts, right? Part one, part two, I'll make this part um, slightly move in with this one, right? So like, just do something like this. So right now we have two parts, right? That are both like individual parts. And if you wanted to connect them or like combine them, what many people would do is they would just right click and then say group as model. So now they have a model, very nice. But the issue with this model is that the parts don't get treated as one entity, right? They're still two separate entities. And I can actually show this to you if I, you know, select all of these parts. And then I go to shape ball, right? And I'll just make them slightly bigger. So right now these are technically models, right? And if I, you know, click on this part and then I drag it into here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then I play the game. So right now it, this is a model, right? So you would expect that, you know, these two parts are the same thing and yet they're not because one, like, as you can see, right, one part moves, right? The other one doesn't move along with it. In fact, they're actually splitting up. This is such a sad sight to see. It's, a, it's like a divorce, but w between Roblox spheres. What if we wanted to actually make one part out of two parts? So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna make them spheres anymore because that's a little weird. Um, there we go. So I'm gonna unmodel this, right? Ungroup. And what I'll do instead is I'll select both of these parts, and then in you know the model tab, I'll click on Union. So this creates a union operation. And now, right, so if I were to, you know, take this union, and then if I were to just move it or like this maybe, and then, yeah, something like that. If I just run the game, so I don't play, I just run the game. Let's see what happens. Actually, I guess I, guess I probably should play the game. <laughs> you know, I mean, someone has to push the, um, the part, I suppose. So what a model would do, right, is these parts would be treated as separate parts. So the moment I shove this, then, you know, this part would like go fly over there and then this part would like fly over there. But then here what happens is because this is one part, see, they both fall together. So with the union, right, they stick together. And so this creates just one part, right? And then if you ever want to, I'll go to model, if you ever want to ununionize them, then you just go to separate, like so, right? Um, and then, you, you know, you, you click union again to unionize them. Another thing I should mention is I'll separate them right now. So, so separate is like, it, it goes back to default, right? So it, it deletes whatever union you've made and it turns them back into parts. Uh, if this part was red, for example, right? And then I, you know, I unionize them. Then if I try and change the color of the union, nothing happens. Right. So, you know, I want to make it, I don't know, blue, but it doesn't work because by default, the union respects like the original colors of the parts and it doesn't let you change them. Now, this is a very easy fix. And there's just a like a property called use part color. And if you select this to true, then th then the union like will apply whatever color it has to every single part that's inside of the union. Right. So this works. But then if you ever want to go back to the original colors, you just uncheck this and it can go back to using original colors. So I'm just gonna separate that. The next union feature is called an intersect. And this one's actually pretty cool. Um, so I'll, I'll turn this part back to white or yeah, how however it was like that. And if I select both of these parts and I click, oh wait, both of these parts, yeah. And if I click intersect, then the resulting part will only be where they're intersecting, right? So let me show you what I mean. So they're intersecting over here, right? This cube is where both of them are colliding. So if I click on intersect, then only this intersect will appear. And then of course I can, you know, separate it and then it goes back to the parts. So intersect again, only like creates a part where both of these are intersecting, right? 
so some something like this, right? And then if I you know select all of these parts, they're intersecting right now over here, over here, and over here. So like a slight triangle. So intersect creates this. This is where they intersect. And then of course separate. The last thing you should know about unions is the negate option. And this one's actually pretty weird because if I um, I'll, I'll, I'll just keep them like this, sure. What we did before was, you know, we select two parts and then we click on, you know, union or intersect and then it, it creates our union. However, with negate, if we click on this, it just turns both of them into a negative part. And then if I separate, it like turns them back into regular parts. So with negate, you don't need multiple parts. You can just select one part and then turn that into a negative part. And then once you have a negative part and a regular part, then if you select the negative and the you know regular part, that's when you can click union. And then the negative part will, you know, take away. Oh, where did I go? The negative part will like take away a part of the original part, right? So, and then I can, you know, separate them again. And then if I take this negative part and I, I don't know, make it, I, I, I'm going to turn this into a sphere, honestly. You know what? Um, yeah, a ball. And then if I make it like this, you know, and I do this. So this is what you saw in the beginning, right? I have this negative part. I have this basic part. When I select both of them and I click union, then the negative part is going to be like taken away from the basic part. And so what you're left with is like an actual like model, right? Which is considered a union operation. And yeah, so that's basically all there is to know about unions. You know, you can unionize them. You can get the intersect. You can turn a part to be a negate part. And then you could separate them to bring both of them back to default. Um, a challenge I'll give you for this video is just make the, the most like wildest part imaginable, right? It has to be one part. So j just one union, right? But just make some absolutely crazy stuff, you know? Um, and then in the comments, I have like my Discord server link. So you could join and then showcase your wonderful creation. So I'm going to delete this. Um, and now we're back to the blank base plate, back to basics. Thank you for watching.